you can uh, the gym timings are in such a way that it's in early in the morning like before the college the timing starts and it is after 4:30 like after the college ends so if you want to uh, build up a new sport or if you want to build in a new skill you can use the gym any time right now uh, the gym is not completely equipped but by the time you start your classes it'll be fully done also there is an advantage for the hostlers because they are going to stay here they can use gym any time and uh, you guys know that uh, for the first years like the upcoming students we have induction program for two weeks and in there one week will be for the hns department that is human science department everyone will be considered in the human science department like the first year and the other week the induction program will be conducted by the core departments and in the first year the portion and the subjects will be same for every branch and from the second year they will be divided and you will just uh, get into your core subjects you need not worry all of these calculations are pretty simple you can make your own calculations just all you need to do in engineering is enjoy study chill make friends and hang out right right so enough enough of being into the smaller circle of just studying and being into the circle so this engineering or this year that you're joining today make sure you're having fun even though you're learning make sure you have fun okay learning is always fun okay so for every class two mentors will be assigned uh, and uh, when you guys have any doubts or queries you can approach your mentors they are always available for you any kind of doubt be it academically or anything regarding the college queries everything will be answered by them anyone here worried about ragging has anyone threatened you that your seniors are going to rag you are there anyone don't worry we here the anti ragging squad <laughs> you don't need to worry at all there will not be any ragging we seniors are more like friends to be honest our seniors the people here were kind of similar so we never knew they were our seniors because all of them looked really young and bubbly do you know during my first orientation like when i first joined i just approached a i mean there was a girl here standing so i just i thought she was one of my classmate but then later on i found out she was a faculty member <laughs> so you never know everyone here are so young and you'll get enraged in whatever you are in so anyone up for singing or are you guys ready to speak about the college any two words anyone you guys can come on to the stage no need to be nervous this is just our home and we we all are soon going to be a family so it's all us anyone here who wants to share a few words that why you have chosen stanley you guys can come up we are here it's okay if you are wrong also we are here to encourage you anyone here any two sentences at least that's okay nikita do you did you forget how nervous we were during our orientation <laughs> i never oh yeah yeah come on come on tell your name your brand yeah, name you can tell your name your brand okay a very good morning everyone firstly i'm very happy to be here on the stage uh, firstly I, i was tensed being here but after listening to the seniors i'm super happy to be in this college and i i thought i found the right college and i'm eagerly waiting to pursue my btech and csc it feels so happy and i am a bit nervous now i think i'm going to take a lot of memories from me in this college i hope i make lot of friends from here and i'm going to have lot of fun too thank you
It's so good that you came on to the stage. Thank you. And you surely are going to make a lot of friends. There's no doubt about that. Anyone else there? Who wants to come up here? It's actually good to see juniors come on to the stage and speak because we were so nervous and so afraid to come on the stage. Like also it just feels like it was yesterday itself we had our orientation day. But again now we are standing welcoming our juniors. Anyone ready to come up here and speak? Come on, join in. Let's join our hands for her. Hi, good morning everyone. First of all, I'm so nervous but excited at the same time. I think we are going to make a nice memories over here and I look forward for it as well. So all the best for all of my batchmates and thank you to all of my seniors to be here and to support here. And thank you, let's make our best memories and best future and let us pursue great things in our life. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your A very good morning to one and all present here. My mom might be very happy to see me over here on the first day. And I'm very glad I make it over here. Within two years, I, I, never, I never thought I would be here in such a beautiful college. I was quite nervous. But after seeing these two sisters over here, I feel really happy. I'm going to get good sisters over here. And I wish, I hope, my four years, my next four years would be very fantastic and shining as Everyone over here is I'm very happy to see you all over here. I'm very thankful to this college for giving me this opportunity to pursue my CSE over here. And thank you and have a good day. So how many of you are interested in singing? Want to come here? Take on this okay, at least you can raise your hand. Who are interested in singing? Who sings? <laughs> Dancing? Anyone like classical dances here? You guys can raise your hands. Oh, we're not gonna call you on. That's okay. <laughs> oh, oh. So there's a magician here. That? You can come up on the stage. So well, hi, hello everyone. Good evening, I'm sure so ready. Good morning, one and all. So I'm pretty excited to be here. Well, I'm so tensed and nervous, so I can't speak anything right now. So next time, I would like to share everything. So I would like to make plenty of memories and that's it so let me show you a small magic so everyone are ready to watch So thank you one and all for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak here. So thank you. Whoa, what's that? I need that purse. <laughs> That's really cool, right? <laughs> Both of them, sir. So how many are national players here? Like state, national players, sports? You guys can raise your hands. Yeah, yeah. 
Masih itu ya. Itu aja terus. So we have a we have a friend of ours who's in second year right now and who has uh, been on nationals for fencing. How many of you know fencing? Fencing? How did you know fencing? That K drama, right? <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. So she's there's a national player here. I feel proud saying that. So we'll soon be resuming the program. Uh, we're actually waiting for our chief guest and, he, and I hope he'll be here soon. So till then, we'll be engaging you guys. So are you guys having fun? Yes? Yes, I don't hear any noise. Yes? Yes? Okay, guys, loosen up. <laughs> Is it awkward? I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so I hope you're having fun and today is going to be a great day and it's going to be one of your, a tick mark for your um, bucket list. So one thing, I want to suggest you one thing, that make a bucket list. Make a bucket list today. Go home and make a bucket list and find out like what are the things you want to do and what are the things you, you will, I mean, I don't know, uh, you might feel that you might self-doubt yourself, wondering, will I be able to do that? Mention things like which you want to do and which you might not do, but still want to do it. So today your task is to make a bucket list. So make sure you're going to cut down all the things by the end of four years. Are you all ready? Are you going to do that? Yes? Because I, I, as I have done it and I've marked down, I guess, I've been in Stanley for seven months. And I got about like 50 wishes in my bucket list. <laughs> and, and they're still adding. And I've cut down 10 right now. And I hope I'll keep adding and I'll keep cutting down more. Are you guys ready? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. So have a good day, guys. We'll join you soon. Okay. We have a singer here who's here to address all our juniors. So please join Vaishnavi. Good morning everyone, this is Vaishnavi. So I think some of you have stage fear. It's, there is no wonder that you have stage fear because even I, I, I also have. So sing with me if you can. Mujo ko itna bataye koi Kaise tujhe se dil na lagaye koi रब्बा ने तुझको बनाने में कर दिए हुस्न की खाली थी चोरियां काजल की सियाही से लिखी है तूने जाने कितनों की लव स्टोरियां केसरिया तेरा इश्क है प्यार रंग जाऊं जो मैं हाथ लगाऊं दिन बीते सारा तेरे फिक्र में रेन सारी तेरी खेर मनाऊं केसरिया तेरा इश्क है प्यार रंग जाऊं जो मैं हाथ लगाऊं दिन बीते सारा तेरे फिक्र में रेन सारी तेरी खेर मनाऊं थैंक यू Thank you, Vaishnavi. That was so soulful. Thank you. Anyone here ready to come up here and want to sing a song? Anyone? Anyone ready? I can see a few nervous smiles. That's okay. Come on in. No? <laughs> Why? Come on, join. We'll join you. <laughs> join us. Thank you everyone for this opportunity. 
Nene kore, ne, nene kore, ape delani chupune, le ne 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 no ne ne ne, dare mare ni vai pune, mare sulo vira pusina, prati ashani valane. Thank you. Thank you. May I know your sweet name? Sorry? Ujasvi. Ujasvi. That's new, right? Thank you, Ujasvi. Anyone else there? Ready? You want to sing? Jain, Jain, come on. Hi everyone, my name is Rhea Grace and I'm gonna sing a song for you. Thank you. It's so good to see that juniors are joining on the stage because we were afraid, we were so nervous to come onto the stage. You know how I found out my, I mean, I don't sing well, but still, I found out I had the skill to sing uh, when I was in uh, one of a trip with my classmates on a bus trip. So all of us were in bus and we were going on to a, um, I mean, yeah, it was induction program and all of us were going somewhere, yeah. And I realized I could sing when all of my friends joined along. So I guess you can unleash your new skills when you're along with your friends. Good luck to that. Anyone else who wants to join? It's not only singing, any other activity. Everyone join your hands. Welcome her. Okay, thank you for the honors. I'm Navya, the first year, the incoming junior. So I would like to sing a Telugu song. Akasam lona eka ki megam choka nida vana nadi vidi lona chachanu bala kosam 
यदा चूड़ा नाना तन पे तन तोड़ तन कुंगे अरचे तलराता यवरु चरी पारो आनाटी गयाले ईनाडे शापाले ये दूरे लिते कोसम ये जोला पाडालो ना कन्ना थैंक यू ओ सर सो देयर आर क्लासिकल सिंगर्स आल्सो Now that our chief guest has arrived, we'll resume with our program. Thank you, guys. You've been such a wonderful audience today. Thank you so much. Thank you. A very good and pleasant morning to everyone. This is Dr. Sri Lata. Associate Professor of English. This is Anusha, Assistant Professor of Mathematics. We welcome you all to Stanley College of Engineering and Technology for Women Orientation Day program. Stanley believes in the statement of Aristotle. I quote: "Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all." At Stanley, the emphasis is on empowering women. which is the very key note the motto of the stanley empowering women impact the world empower women impact world with this key note i would like to invite all the dignitaries on to the dais now i invite professor a vinay babu dean academics on to the dais professor a vinay babu dean academics is a retired professor in csc and former principal of jntu college of engineering hyderabad he is an expert in the fields of ece and csc he has done his be ece me ece from university college of engineering osmania university and mtech computer science and phd computer science from jntu hyderabad sir has an immense experience of 36 years in academics coupled with 24 years of administrative experience he is a recognized guide in different universities and has guided 29 phd so far and another two are under progress sir so is a life member of institute of engineers iete iste and csi he has more than 100 publications to his credit sir so has received many awards like best state teacher award in 2011 Best Computer Science Teacher Award from ISTE in 2007, Eminent Educationist and Eminent Citizen of India by National and International Compendium, New Delhi, Distinguished Academician by Pentagram Research Centre, Private Limited, Jewel of India, Eight by Indian Solidarity Council, New Delhi. As the principal of JNTU College of Engineering, he established innovative practices of teaching soft skills. for both ug and pg students and achieved 100% placements thank you sir now i invite respected chief guest ms shantamona bharadwaj ms shantamona bharadwaj manager technical talent acquisition dbs technology shantamona bharadwaj boss a rich 12 year background in the realm of talent acquisition having progressively honed skills in sourcing recruiting stakeholder management process enhancement and offer management as a dedicated recruiter shantamona takes great pride in ensuring that each placement aligns seamlessly with the needs of all parties involved 
a firm believer in facilitating meaningful career, she goes beyond the scope of jobs to discover individuals' true vocational paths. With an unwavering commitment to excellence, Shantamona consistently strives to deliver her best efforts in every task she undertakes. In her role as a recruiter, she is driven by the objective of nurturing strong relationships that mutually benefit candidates and clients alike. Currently entrusted with recruiting responsibilities for the finance division of American Express, Shantamona actively seeks out industry leaders eager to fresh career horizons. She enthusiastically welcomes discussions about potential career opportunities to explore their alignment with individual aspirations. Thank you, Madam. It's great honor and with great honor and respect, I invite our esteemed secretary and correspondent, Shri K. Krishna Rao Garu, onto the days. Shri K. Krishna Rao Sir's contributions have been pivotal in the establishment of the distinguished professional institutions. He serves as the secretary and correspondent of Stanley College of Engineering and Technology for Women, Autonomous Abbots Hyderabad, Indore Institute of Technology, Siddipet, Methodist College of Engineering and Technology, Autonomous Abbots Hyderabad. Additionally, he holds the esteemed position as chairman and director of Sapala Organics Limited, Hyderabad. Sir is the soul of the college. Since the inception, his unwavering dedication to enhancing infrastructure and upholding the highest standards of education underscores his uncompromising compliment, commitment. Sir is a person for whom quality of education is not merely a slogan, but a principle of life. It is under his exceptional leadership that Stanley has experienced consistent and remarkable progress. Shri K. Krishna Rao Sir's visionary guidance has led to the prestigious accreditation of NBA and NAC with A grade. Furthering the institution's reputation, his leadership has also resulted in achieving autonomous status. Under his stewardship, Stanley has achieved the distinguished honor of being awarded the best women's engineering college by ISTE at the national level for the year 2021. In, recogni in recognition to his outstanding contributions to higher education, particularly in the realm of women's education, Sir was also bestowed with a prestigious award from ATA, American Telugu Association in 2022. These accolades reflect his resolute devotion and significant impact on the educational landscape. We express our gratitude from the bottom of our hearts, sir, for your significant contribution. Thank you. Now I invite, now I invite our management director, T, Shri T. Rakesh Reddy Garu, onto the desk. Shri T. Rakesh Reddy Garu is the director of management, Stanley College of Engineering and Technology for Women. Sir is a very passionate about providing state of arts facility to the students and leaves no stone unturned in overseeing the college everyday progress. He is a prominent builder. He does every job meticulously and carries a contagious smile. He is omnipresent in all the activities of the institution. Thank you, sir. I invite our beloved director, student support system, and HOD of Humanities and Sciences, Dr. V. Anuradha, onto the desk. Dr. V. Anuradha, the director of Stanley College of Engineering and Technology for Women, is one of the senior most employees of the organization. She has been teaching for more than 23 years as an English faculty at various levels. She has a master's degree in English literature from Madras University. She has done her PhD in English language teaching from Usmania University. For a doctoral degree, she worked on the retraining program of Degree College English Lecturers, a prestigious program conducted by the government of Andhra Pradesh in collaboration with the U.S. State Department of Cultural Affairs 
to update the English language skills of degree college teachers. She has imparted English language skills by means of international sessions to students, businessmen and employees of several institutions. Thank you, ma'am. Now I take the privilege to invite our esteemed principal, Dr. Satya Prasad Lanka, onto the desk. Dr. Satya Prasad Lanka, Principal, Stanley College of Engineering and Technology for Women, is a visionary leader with more than three decades of experience in academics, has a doctorate in ECE from JNTU Kakinada and MTech from Benares Hindu University. He has held responsibilities in various capacities like Dean R&D, Director R&D, Principal, In Charge Principal. He has published several technical papers in international journals. He has a passion for developing research culture among staff and students. As a professor, he emphasizes that the students develop effective problem-solving skills, self-directed learning, effective collaboration skills, and intrinsic motivation. Sir aspires in creating the best of environments on the Stanley, Stanley campus for the budding graduates who are the future citizens of the nation. And under his stewardship, Stanley has become one of the premium institutions with NBA and NAC A grade accreditations in the same academic year. Thank you, sir. It's my privilege to invite our Vice Principal, Dr. B. V. Ramanamurthy, onto the desk. I invite our Director of Academics, Dr. K. Kanakadurga, onto the desk. Now I invite all the HODs onto the desk. ADCE Head of the Department, Dr. K. Vaidehi. CSE Head of the Department, Dr. YVSS Pragati. EC Head of the Department, Dr. Kedarnath Sahu. Triple E Head of the Department, Dr. Nagashekar Reddy. IT Head of the Department, Dr. B. Srinivasu. MBA Head of the Department, Dr. Y. Padma. Training and Placement Officer, Dr. GVS Raju. Thank you, everyone. May I request the chief guest to light the lamp? I request all the dignitaries to join. Deep Deepam Jyoti Parabrahma, Deepam Sarvatam Opaha. Deepam Jyoti Parabrahma, Deepam Sarvata Mopaha, Deepena Sadhyate, Sarvam Sandhya Deepa Namostate. It means light is equal to God, makes all our wishes come true, the light that removes darkness from our lives and enhances knowledge and wisdom. We salute to such light. Thank you all.
now i request everyone to stand up for vande mataram the national song vande mataram vande mataram sujalam sufalam malayaj sitalam sasya syamalam mataram vande thank you all as part of the proceedings now i invite dr v anuradha director student support system and hod hns to give welcome address over to you madam Thank you, Sri Lata. Our uh, distinguished chief guest, Ms. Shantamona Bharadwaj, our benevolent and charismatic correspondent, Sri Krishna Rao Garu, Stanley's favorite management director, T. Rakesh Reddy Garu, our dean academics, Prof. Vinay Babu sir, and very versatile principal, Satya Prasad Lanka Garu, vice principal, Ramana Murthy Garu, dean academics, Dr. Kanaka Durga, and all the hods hod of uh, csc department dr pragati hod of adc department dr vaidehi hod of triple e department nagshekar reddy hod of ec department kedarnath sahu hod of it uh, srinivasu sir hod of ec kedarnath sir hod of mba dr padma and our placement uh, officer uh, dr jvk raju and the other one Mr. Praveen, sitting off the dais, and all the guests off the dais, and teaching and non-teaching faculty, and parents, and dear, dear students. A very good morning, a pleasant morning. I should say it's a sunny and pleasant morning, compared to our yesterday, where it was very cloudy and gloomy. So, we should thank the stars that today is a very bright day, and that is reflected in the face of my young minds. and young students who are sitting here so it is my privilege to invite a warm welcome to the 16th batch of the college to this orientation day program and to the third batch of the autonomous college so my dear girls many many congratulations on becoming stanleyans i call it as a brand the brand that you are going to carry throughout your life because it does matter so i can say quite proudly and become little nostalgic looking at this main gate today uh, having seen students as i have been here since its inception i have seen hundreds of students coming very timidly very shyly with lot of fears and hopes with their hand in their parents walking into it on this day of the orientation day i should say they come with a lot of confusion lot of and fears and after four years they walk out with the right academic credentials and also the credentials that they need for their life that is the right attitude and the right confidence and the pursuing the zeal to pursue in life so uh, my words are very true because today incidentally we have our alumna that is uh, uh, Can Vibhashi Kanna is here? Uh, passed out in 2000. Usually, it is difficult to get in touch with our alumni because we don't want to disturb them on a uh, working day. But I thank her. She is going to tell you that every word that I say is very, very correct. So let me invite our management director, 
president of indur uh, uh, society college of engineering and uh, engineering and technology uh, dr sorry shri ahar pradeep reddy sir on to the stage pradeep reddy garu is the director of management president of stanley and indur education society he strongly believes that every student must be provided with congenial academic ambience along with the right technical competence as required by the industry sir has been a pillar of support in transformation of stanley into an autonomous institution thank you sir so the vision of the college is empowering girl students through professional education integrated with values and character to make an impact of the world the motto of the college is empower women and impact the world stanley promises to give you the state of the art facilities that will help you to achieve your goals and we promise that it is always rests in the committed faculty very dedicated faculty members and the state of the art facilities that we actually provide you the quality infrastructure and a large pool of learning resources and of course the responsive students that you are here who are going to make use of the opportunities that are given to you so dear parents i see all the parents here so a warm welcome to our stanley family dear parents let's share the responsibility of nurturing our kids making them a wholesome personality so who are going to make the actual impact into this world by creating the right uh, progression in the society so i am not taking much of the time because we have the other guests we are running out of the time i am going to come back and give you details about the induction program the program that is going to start right from tomorrow and also i will introduce you your faculty members who are going to take the subjects for you okay so wishing you a very happy academically highly rewarding career thank you so much thank you madam for the warm welcome now may i invite a vinay babu professor a vinay babu dean academics to speak a few words about our college good morning everyone first let me congratulate all the young uh, girls who have joined this, uh, who have opted this particular college and uh, i mean fulfilled their dream of uh, entering into a prestigious institution let us all uh, the hard work put by the parents hard work put by the teachers and hard, hard work put by the every student of you so let us all try to give a big applause to the, all the students who have got this particular thing <coughs> really when for so many years i think most of us uh, most of you might have started started preparing for mset from the 8th class onwards i know because i as a parent even i also uh, brought up my son and child daughter all these particular they will be going under this particular process so from 8th class onwards the preparation started and finally you got your uh, dream fulfilled entered into a higher education institution and and the one of the best institution the already already it has been introduced this is the all india level best women's institution which was awarded by istg that is indian society of technical education has recognized this college as one of the best women's college of india so you have entered into such a great uh, college so what exactly this this college how exactly this college has become i mean just started college around 15 years back just to me madam as i said 16th batch we are welcoming for 16th batch that is the age of college is sweet 16 now so at the, this particular sweet 16 age so all the students now who are entering will be I mean most probably 16 plus maybe 17 years uh, girls who are entered here so let us all enjoy this particular this thing but in this journey of all these 16 years it was not that easy to make a this particular institute number 
when I have retired the college from JNTU after serving the university around 30 years and after doing their director of admissions, director of uh, distance education and the prestigious college, JNTU College of Engineering, Kukatpalli Principalship. After doing that, there are so many colleges for uh, offering me so many positions. But I am interested where exactly the management is very much dedicated, where the faculty are dedicated and where the management I mean, so many institutes are there, but management, full academic uh, freedom should be given to the teachers and the administrators like principal and heads. So, uh, you know, by checking all these qualities, I mean, I have selected this particular college and joined this college. So, really, at that particular stage itself, after my joining only with the, I mean, all the staff members and management and all, we have worked together and made this particular college, first, first step was, this was recognized research center in computer science and electronics and communication by Usmania University. That is, recognized research center means, so like MSET engineering seats are being allocated, like MTech uh, PG ESET seats are allocated. Similarly, even for PhD also university allocate the seats. So that facility is also there in this particular college. So that research facilities are very good. And then we went for the NBA accreditation. First itself, we got all eligible branches, which, which were eligible for, for that particular thing. Uh, all branches, all five branches, we got accredited. And after accreditation, so then we went for NAC. NAC also very good, A grade accreditation. And then we went for autonomous and all. So in all this journey, we are getting one by one, one by one, all the steps. And now we have reached to a stage which has which made this particular institute as the best institute. But only thing is, so now for all the students, I mean, uh, I don't know how many of you came from the Telugu medium. Are there any Telugu medium students now? So Telugu medium students, please raise your hand. So there, there may be very few nowadays, but if you just way back to around 10 years back, if you just see, most of the students were coming from uh, Telugu medium students also. And this institute, when girls joined with the Telugu medium, I mean, with the great efforts of our English department and all the faculty, and we made them to see to it that they get a good fluency in speaking of English and very expert in facing the interviews and very expert in writing the TOEFLs and GRE and all, and they become very successful. And I remember one girl, uh, when I was joined in this college in 2016, she was in first year, and uh, I think the name is Bhagya. Uh, Bhavani. Bhavani, sorry. Her name is Bhavani. She was very, very timid. And the sir, sir, and the medium, sir, and the sir, sir, and the sir, and sir, and the sir, sir, all this, with all these things, she came to us. But finally, when she went, she left the college with a 10 lakhs package, and she got a very good placement. So that is the achievement of the college. So it's not just uh, aging the college. And at the same time, the generally for all the students, one goal will be getting a great, great software industrial job, software job, or otherwise people will be very much interested in doing research. So these two will be the different types of fields. So Stanley provides facilities for both. If you just see the placements, our placement, uh, anyhow, our talent show sir will be uh, telling more details about the placements. Now, when this college, when the placements were started, our average placement was 1.5 to 2 lakhs average package were there. And when we went for accreditation also, that was the situation. Now, if you just see our average package of the placement itself has gone to 8 to 9 lakhs. So that is our average package. And the highest package, if you just see, it has gone even up to 30 lakhs. Even one student has even gone up to the 40 lakhs also. So that is the goal of placements that, that our college is being achieved. So only thing is, and at the same time, if you just want to see about the research facility, with, I mean, we encourage, because learning is not only just through classroom teaching, learning is not only through mugging up the uh, syllabus and writing the exams and scoring the marks and getting the ranks, but at the same time 
there are different ways of learning so that nowadays thanks to the technology thanks to the computer science field thanks to the it field which is providing any in, in international lectures also we can nowadays on the system sitting at home we can listen to the uh, even see Karnataka and Michigan University teachers, IIT teachers, anybody is teaching. Also, now we can follow. And at the same time, IIT is, has provided a greater opportunity in the name of spoken tutorials. IIT Bombay uh, conducts it, and in the name of NPTEL, which will be looked after by the IIT Chennai, for all these students, we encourage them. All the students, one student who has, with our encouragement, got a great spoken tutorial classes and through her spoken tutorials offered by IIT Kharagpur and she was offered internship during when she was in third year itself she was offered internship by IIT Kharagpur none other than uh, smaller institute and that particular now she got immediately after the internship after finishing engineering from here immediately after BTEC itself now she has joined Bangalore ISE for her PhD that is without doing PG program so directly with UG only IIC Bangalore offered her PhD program such a great prestigious offer is also possible in this particular Stanley education so it's only our 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 big uh, power source is there or else if if ordinary language if you want to tell okay pedda cheru nadi Okay, Chambuda Munchkunda, Chamba Nilostai, Oka Binda Munchkunda, Binda Nilostai, Oka Pedda Gangala and Moyagarite, Anni Nilostai. And at the same time, Oka Pedda Power Source to the Power Pragun to the six volts. If you put six watts bulb, six watts bulb will grow. If it's hundred watts, hundred watts will come. If it is thousand watts, thousand watts come. So, only thing is our teachers are the best power sources now they are having. And our teachers not only just teach in the class. But they will be doing a continuous mentorship. And the mentorship, you, 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 it is very hard to discuss, but it is in practice. Even our teachers start teaching or mentoring the students from early morning, 5 o'clock to night, 10 o'clock. So all this, they will be keeping on tracking. What is this education you have done? So today you are, you are supposed to, this exam is there, so please prepare for this. If there, is a, there are any doubts, we are ready to clear. Like that, a continuous mentorship. This college, especially, especially women are famous for motherhood. Women are famous for Amma Prema. Amma Prema is one of my teachers. Magavalu, Amma Prema, you would have no child, Prasidibu in the Navalu, Tara Baguntaru, Andrekatama Pedama, my principal Sare. So Andrekate Tara Bagatari, so everything will be given. So there's such a great facility we are having here. Only thing is, you please listen to us. We are here to provide anything that you want. We are not only just offering the this regular degrees which are given by in the mere admissions through chair are computer science, IT, ADS, AML, uh, CME, electronics, electrical, all these branches you have joined. But don't bother about the, those particular branches. Even if anybody wants a degree in data science, we are ready to provide. We are, we are giving a facility of a minor degree concept. So minor degree is, so for electrical people, computer science minor degree we are offering. Electronics people, we are computer science or data science or COT, IOT, anything, any offer uh, minor degrees concepts also, around six minor degrees we are offering. It is only the students who take the opportunity and utilize this particular opportunity. Don't bother, I am computer science seat, Dorka, electrical, JRAM, and what kind bother them, but I can for all the, if at all, main chepina tiga mir vinte, if all the students obey, how sincerely. Come to the college, listen to the classes, and at the same time, whatever the instructions are given, please follow us. And uh, we request all the parents, please see to it that your child also kindly, mean, whether they are keeping track of the education or not. Students teachers Mirokasari, Sadura Vishal Dogura Duskuntu, Unte continuous Gaunte, we achieve you 
అవర్ ప్లేస్మెంట్ రికార్డ్ వి మా దగ్గర ప్లేస్మెంట్స్ కావాలనే వాళ్ళు మూడు వందల యాభై మంది ఉంటే మేము ఉద్యోగాలు తొమ్మిది వందల ఉద్యోగాలు ప్రొవైడ్ చేసాం వన్ ఈస్ టు టూ వన్ ఈస్ టు త్రీ జాబ్స్ గివింగ్ ఈజ్ అవర్ అవర్ కాలేజ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ సో దాట్ ఈజ్ అస్ ఐ మీన్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఆర్ దే ఓన్లీ థింగ్ ఈజ్ నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు ప్రిపేర్ అయ్యి ప్రిపేర్ అయ్యి వచ్చాం రెక్కలు వచ్చాయి ఎగిరిపోదాం అనుకోకుండా ఆల్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ప్లీజ్ బీ కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ ఫర్ అనదర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ so that you can have a bright bright future here and once again i say welcome to this particular stanley institute i once again uh, tell you that i mean i once again uh, tell you I mean that if you work hard you will achieve whatever may be the your dream you just you as abdul kalam said dream big and we are here to make that particular dream into reality thank you and all the best Thank you, sir, for your valuable information about our college. Now, I invite our alumna, Vibashi Kanna of 2014-18 batch to speak few words about her journey in Stanley. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to the director, to the chairman, to the principal and everybody here, the staff and my dear friends. I am Vibhashi and currently I am working as a business consultant at Verisk. So, um, I'll not talk a lot because sir just uh, wave at me because uh, I, I just have a hard stop of five minutes. But once I start talking about my journey, I can eat away all the time. So, just please help me with that sir. Okay, so as soon as I stepped into the college, a rush of memories and emotions just filled me up. And I just stood there and the breeze of Stanley is different. I, I, you can, I, I just want you to come up and see the goosebumps I still have. This college is just like a home to me. So I'm so lucky to see all of you, the new Stanley faces over here. Um, looking at you, I just remember my orientation day. I was somewhere in the corner just scared and uh, thinking of, Uh, will I be able to do it? Will, uh, will the college give me opportunities? So with time, in this four years, I have got all the answers to my questions and trust me, the answers were much more uh, amazing what, uh, from what I have ever expected. So I'll start with the very first year of my college. Uh, I was from the CSE background. So I was always a math student, a physics student, but not a technical student. So uh, I started with the C language subject and that was something I was very scared of the very first time, the C language. And then I remember Pragati ma'am, she helped me so much. Like she was selfless, she, she is so uh, uh, full of knowledge that any time, any point of time, if you see her in cabin, just go to her ma'am, I didn't get this and she will just uh, flood out all the information. And uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for that. Today, the confidence that I hold to speak here, uh, uh, this is just 10% of what our Nasreen ma'am has taught us. So, ma'am, if you are there somewhere here, I know you're still correcting my vocabulary. And maybe you'll tell me that. So, no, this was the mistake what you have made. So, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for that. So, to me, the very first year of college is like a ripe mango of the very first season. You're not sure if it is sour or sweet. With every bite of the mango, you will explore different colors, different textures, and different flavors of the mango, the richness of the mango. So, uh, just don't be scared of Uh, the opportunities don't be shy the very first year is where you can connect with people the more connections you make and uh, just grab all the opportunities that you can in the very first year that will actually help build the other three years coming uh, and then I'll move on to my second year my second year was again amazing the same uh, subject but then again there comes Java so <laughs> Java was again something I got scared of. But trust me, now I am very efficient with Java and thanks to Praveen sir, 
he literally taught me java with the examples of colors and sachin tendulkar his sir, son arjun tendulkar so everybody here is ready to help it's just that you just have to step out of your own comfort zone step out talk to them just just explain them what you, what are your fears and what, what do you want to learn they are always here for us so uh, other two years were so smooth as the faculties were always helpful uh, the training and placement went so uh, amazing um, they have given us different trainings in different uh, aptitude and also the uh, english proficiency everything and i would just suggest that uh, don't be scared uh, stanley has now become a heritage and with stanley i have grown personally and now i'm handing this heritage to you so just uh, when you succeed make sure you're making a positive impact to all of us around you thank you thank you vibashi and now may i request our chief guest to present a memento as a small token of our love and affection to vibashi who has readily agreed in spite of her hectic monday morning <laughs> Now I invite our correspondent Shri K Krishna Rao Garu to give a message to parents and students. respected chief guest miss shantamona bhardwaj head talent acquisition dbs tech india principal dr satyaprasad lanka garu dean academics dr vinay babu garu dr ramana murthy vice principal dr anuradha today's members of management mr pradeep reddy and rakesh reddy officers of the metri church all directors hods mr ajaj ceo of talent talent show faculty members not teaching staff parents and students our friends from the media good morning to you all i feel immensely happy to congratulate all the students who joined stanley to pursue their professional education i thank all the parents and students for reposing their faith in us on behalf of the stanley fraternity it is my promise to all the parents here that we will do everything possible to make these young girls truly global professionals today marks a significant milestone in your lives as you step into the halls of stanley so as you step into your roles as students at stanley remember that you are part of a legacy of women who have defied expectations shattered norms and rewritten history your potential knows no bounds and the challenges you face are opportunities to grow stronger smarter and more resilient our institution has a legacy of empowering women to thrive in the realms of engineering and technology and today we proudly add your names to the ranks of visionary women who shaping the future friends stanley began its journey in 2008 in just a span of 15 years i say with an extreme sense of 
gratification that we are second to none in the state of Telangana. Our highly qualified faculty for whom academics and academics alone is a quintessential obsession. I vote for this. The performance of the institution in securing placements for the students is a spectacular validation of the team effort of the institution. During the academic year 2022-23, we had over 1,000 plus placements for our students with the packages at par with the premier institutions in the nation. Over 85% students who belong to the current final year have already got appointments and other reminder go to high studies India and abroad. By the time we finish this academic year, this will surpass the previous figures significantly. The point is that potential of the students and the quality of the institution is determined not merely by the number of students who received placements, but by the quality of their placements and the profile of the company. International market leaders such as Intel, SAP, Salesforce, and Dell, Infosys, HP, HCL, Capgemini, IBM, and Tech Mahindra, l &T, our list goes on. Orienting and training students to be job ready is only one aspect of professional education. The fundamental issue is to import them with robust domain knowledge such that they are ready to meet any situation, especially in areas like information technology and artificial intelligence, which are rapidly evolving. Stanley College of Engineering, as you all know, is an autonomous institution. For us, autonomy is an opportunity to improvise the curriculum with a vision to address gaps to make it more relevant to the needs of the market for the present and provide students with an academic architecture that makes her remain confident in the future. I take pride in stating that we are using autonomy with discipline and caution so that students become more responsible and productive. Our world is evolving at an unprecedented pace with the technological advancements shaping every aspect of our lives. As a woman in engineering and technology, we have a unique role to play in driving this transformation. Your ideas, creativity, and determination will shape the future of innovation and progress. I would like to express our sincere gratitude to our chief guest, Ms. Santamona Bharadwaj, who has taken time out of her busy schedule to be with us today. Ms. Bharadwaj is a true exemplar of what a determination, hard work, and vision can achieve. As the talent acquisition head at DBS Tech India, she understands the importance of embracing change and harnessing one's potential. We are honored to have her here to share her insights and inspire us all. Thank you, Madam, for accepting our invitation to be here to, meet, to motivate our students. The market today wants to identify talent and invest in it early. There is an ad adage in English, catch them young and watch them grow. If you are talented, you have enough opportunities. To the new batch of students, I encourage you to make the most of your time here, engage with your professors, seize opportunities for research and projects, and collaborate with your peers. Remember, your success is not just determined by what you learn within the walls, within these walls, but also by the values 
you imbibe and the relationship relationship you forge i wish you all the very best thank you thank you ananda thank you sir for your valuable message now i invite our alumna last year who recently passed out to speak about campus recruitment training good morning one and all ladies and gentlemen faculty staff and most importantly the talented students of this year uh, well students of the class 2023 good morning and welcome to stanley engineering college of technology and for women i am lasya senior officer at dbs and ex stanleyan It is an honor and privilege to be standing in front standing before you as we embark on this exciting journey on this exciting journey of higher education. College is not just a place. Please do remember, it is a place filled with memories. In the beginning, you will definitely be nervous to be mingling with others, but do remember that these people will be your family later. It is a transformative experience and I want to talk to you about the incredible in adventure that awaits you here. First let me reassure you that you belong here. You are chosen because of your unique talents and your because of your unique talents and your potential and your dedication to learning. As you look around you'll find a you'll find people from different diversities for different perspectives. so do remember they have different aspirations embrace the diversity it's the it's one of the greatest it is one of the greatest assets of the college during your time here you'll discover not only the world of academia but also the world within yourself you'll encounter challenges that will test your limits but remember it's in those moments that you grow the most embrace failure as a stepping stone to success and remember that with every setback you have a comeback it's a momentous occasion where today today i stand before you to not only celebrate your welcome but also a momentous occasion where i would like to thank our placement cell our faculty to our faculty for supporting us and encouraging us the role of the placement cell goes beyond arranging interviews and sharing job listings it's about understanding our dreams our aspirations and our unique talents it's about guiding us through the often daunting and competitive job market and preparing us for the real world my campus drive was during 2020 yes the legendary covid-19 pandemic it was a huge struggle we were just sitting in the sitting at home realizing that we had only you know we had classes in the morning in our pajamas listening to classes writing notes just studying for the exams right before the exams no particular preparation just like that and do you know why it was because of our faculty they have provided us notes they have managed us so well and according to the place and now coming to the placements our placements were in third se uh, in 3 2 that is our sixth semester but our placement but our placement manager has uh, organized it pretty well we were given training a semester prior so uh, it was around 3 1 that where we had offline class where we had online classes regarding aptitude coding that were they were training us for the campus recruitment process they made it easy for us to crack this campus recruitment and coming to the most crucial role and my favorite was talent show talent show one of was one of the organization that we were with and they organized uh, they conducted all these sessions that had uh, that explained us coding that challenged us with aptitude and we had all these offline exams 
well, we had all these online exams in HackerRank for practice. So when it comes to this, you will realize one thing. One is consistency. One is dedication. And one is your aspiration to learn. Please do remember that college will provide you everything for you to grow and prosper in your life. But when it comes to you, it is your duty, it is your dedication that will actually excel you in your career. Our principal who has actually provide, who has actually helped us a lot in our, in our recruitment process, in our journey in life, I would like to thank him personally. Now, the, we, had multiple, we had multiple companies uh, throughout uh, for my batch, for campus recruitment batch. So I would first thing like to congratulate uh, our college and thank Praveen sir, especially for bringing us DBS that I'm proud of. Yeah, and I congratulate uh, my college for thousand plus placements for my particular batch. which will keep on increasing, you are there next. Yes. And I would personally like to thank DBS for giving us the opportunity. I'm a proud senior officer at DBS and they have made me feel at home immediately. Really proud and the technologies that we use is excellent. Digital bank, definitely standing for its place. First bank. And I was ecstatic when I actually found out about the recruitment of DBS. The thing is, we had hackathon for the recruitment. Uh, at DBS, uh, we had a hackathon process where you, where a lot of students from multiple colleges would be uh, participating. So for this, you definitely need practice. You definitely need to stand out a little to be recognized and to be selected. So one thing that I would like to tell is, please do concentrate and uh, Yes, talent show is also one of the thing that has helped us because with talent show, we learned Java, we learned C, something that was very, very important for our recruitment process. So the, the thing that I would like to tell you is all the teachers, star, everybody will be supporting you at every step of your life. Do remember that you have to step forward out of your comfort zone and do please stand and shine. So for standing out in Hackathon, for getting recognized in Hackathon, there was a lot of effort behind the scenes. One thing was my teachers who have managed their curriculum and everything for our campus. And then comes our campus placement cell who have organized everything in a way where we can actually ask our doubts, put forward our doubts, and then kind of you know, clear it out you know, and they understood our fears. They know where we were lacking. So they asked us and we went forward. So please do come out of your comfort zone. Just ask enough. Teachers will help you out with that. Very sweet. They'll definitely be there for you, including our principal at all times. Whenever it is, they'll always be there for you. Even once you pass out, you come back to college, you'll realize that college is College is, was, and will always be there for you. Always welcoming my family. So, yeah, we meet, so thank you placement cell and my other department faculty, including the lab assistants who have helped us a lot. Who have helped us a lot and for being a guiding light our mentors and our friends. You have not just prepared us for jobs, but for life. Your impact will be felt in every success story that emerges from our batch. And finally, all of you, welcome to Stanley, class of 2023. Your adventure begins now. Make the most of every moment and together, we will shape a bright future. Thank you so much, everyone. I was a bit nervous, but I'm all set. Thank you. Thank you, Lasya. Now, may I request our chief guest to present a memento of, uh, as a token of love to Lasya.
Thank you, ma'am. Now I would like to introduce an important person, Mr. Ajaz Khan. Mr. Ajaz Khan has a remarkable career for more than 20 years with considerable expertise in many areas like hiring new employees, handling business tasks, and helping people learn new skills. At a testament to his commitment, he was founded and currently leads Talentio Academy and AI Smart Labs. Both these organizations stand as examples of empowerment dedicated to nurturing individuals with the essential skills and knowledge necessary to the market world. Outstandingly, Mr. Ajaz Khan has previously played significant role at IBM, like identifying and recruiting emerging talent across the world. May I invite Mr. Ajaz Khan? Morning, everyone. My greetings to all the dignitaries and teachers on the dais, off the dais, all the parents and all the students. So, um, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to Stanley, and I congratulate you, all the students who have put in a lot of hard work. All the last last 12, 13 years, you've been working very hard, and finally, you're here. I would also like to congratulate the parents and all the, uh, the guardians who've been working all these 12, 13 years to get your, uh, your children here. So I'm sure it's a wonderful moment. Uh, I think what is exciting uh, about this is that uh, although education has still not finished, but at least now you and your children have a clear path ahead. Till now, you didn't know where they were heading. They were going into engineering, which college, etc. But now at least there is clarity. Now they are entered, they have entered engineering. And four more years, and there will be something at the end of the tunnel. So there will be a reward by the time they finish four years. And when I say reward, I mean multiple things. One is the beginning of a career. I'm sure all of you have been working very hard as, as students, you, you yourself. And the parents, you've been working hard to get your, get your kids to start a career, to get them settled, to, to start a new life, to start a professional life. Now, this is the beginning, the final, I would say, the last mile towards that journey. So far, all the, all the hard work was happening to get marks and to get into a, you know, a professional institution. But now that journey has begun. So what you do will make a lot of difference. The next four years will make a huge difference. And here, what I, uh, first of all, uh, I'm sure all of you would know that's why you're sitting in Stanley. That's why you have joined engineering. But I'd still like to tell you that engineering today is giving immense opportunities in terms of uh, the kind of role that you want to work in, the kind of work that you want to do, the kind of companies that you want to work with, which country you want to work with, all of that becomes very flexible when you join a profession called engineering. So here is uh, the best part. And the second part of the reward is that you've joined Stanley. Because at Stanley, you must have already heard the kind of the average package that Stanley, all uh, you know, the girls of Stanley's are getting. The kind of companies that are coming to Stanley. So I, I, I'm proud to say you Name a company and you will have an alumni of Stanley sitting in that company and working. You just name any company. So here is the opportunity. Your kids and uh, if I address the student, you, all of you have entered into a great institution. I have been working closely, very, very closely with all the leadership, uh, you know, uh, principal sir and everyone in the institution to upskill the students. My role as a partner of the institution is to make sure that the students are ready for the industry. Not just the industry, but for the real world, that's what I would say. Because not everyone chooses to have a job. Some people go for higher education, some people want to, you know, like you heard, you know, there's one girl who joined ISC and she did a PhD. The point is that our objective here at Stanley is to make sure that the student is prepared for the real world. And for that, 
preparing for the industry, preparing for the skills is very important. You have immense opportunities. You also heard about the, the high packages that have been offered to Stanley. And this is something that will keep on increasing. So by the time you pass out, maybe you will create a record at Stanley. Maybe you will be sitting at 40 or maybe 60 lakhs. I don't know, maybe more. But the, there is one thing that you must have heard about is called GAP, Industry and Academia GAP. I'm sure you must have read very various reports. This gap has been existing, it still exists, and will exist in future as well. But the good thing about Stanley is that Stanley is addressing this gap from the very first day you join the institution. And why I'm saying this is because we are a part of this uh, initiative where when you join from the very first day of your classes, you will realize that you are being exposed to the industry. And the preparation, how it happens, will go parallel to your academics. When you go to second year and third year, there will be special programs that will further strengthen your skills to make sure that you are industry ready. And all the dreams or aspirations that you've had or your parents have, I must say that it is not impossible. It is definitely possible, provided, of course, you know, you, you work hard. So my final message to you is, number one, that you are in safe hands. The institution, all the leadership of the institution, they are extremely committed to your success and to your well-being. So that way, you've joined an institution that you can completely relax about and uh, you know, you're, you're joined the right place. The second point that I want to uh, address, since parents are here, I want to uh, tell the parents also, this journey is not going to be easy for your kid because there's a lot of competition and sometimes in this competition uh, we may put too much of pressure as in you know I'm talking about the social pressure at home so my only message to all the parents and guardians is just you know uh, be there emotionally for your kid it's very important and uh, your kid will need you during the next four years and my last message for all the students is that you may have the skills today or you may not have. You may have certain qualities, you may not have. There will be some people who are better than you. You may be better than others in certain areas. It doesn't matter. The next four years, it's a very, very long time. What will matter and what will make a difference to you and your future is the amount of efforts you put in. You may be great, you don't put in efforts, nothing will change. Even if you're not good in anything, but you put in a lot of effort for the next four years and follow what is given to you, follow the advice, follow the schedule, follow the curriculum that is given to you, follow the assignments and tasks given to you, listen to your faculty, listen to your placement department. If you put in your 100% efforts, I, with very confidence, I can say that anything that you aspire for will be possible four years down the line. Right, so with this message, I uh, want to thank everyone and welcome to Stanley. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for encouraging our students with the wonderful words. Now may I request the Chief Guest of today's function, Ms. Shantamona Bharadwaj, to address the gathering. Good morning, everyone. So uh, I just want to say a few words. Uh, whenever I, uh, you know, be present as the guest for graduation day, achievers day, or freshers new orientation day, I walk down my memory lane. I feel that it's my freshers day orientation day. So guys, I am sure, girls, that you are quite excited for the first day i was while i was on my way to this college i was just thinking about my first day in college when i came for the orientation day mixed feelings right lot of curiosity fear hope i'm audible right it's not too loud 
Okay, I'll try to keep my speech short. I know um, the sun is out there loud to show its blessing to all of you on your new journey of life. So it was a lot of mixed emotions that I faced, fear, excitement, uh, curiosity. It's a new place, right? New people, new friends. While you have spent your 12 years maybe in one school being comfortable, while this is a new place that you want to embark on. New people, new space, new technology, everything is new. So how do you feel today? Same emotion, mixed emotions? Happy, excited, nervous? Who would be my batchmates? Who would be my bandmates? I don't know. Will I be able to make friends? Yes or no? Lot of questions in my mind. And also, quite excited about what the journey holds for me, right? What will be there, by, I there at the end of the journey, right? With that note, I would really want to welcome all of you um, and uh, give you a very warm welcome to all of you, the eager newcomers. Um, as uh, Vinaya sir said, that it's a privilege to be in this uh, college as it's one of the prestigious diversity colleges in India. So a huge round of applause to all of you. I know it takes a lot of hard work, commitment, perseverance to be in such a prestigious college. And I would also like to uh, thank parents because I feel that parents equally hold important part in the journey of an education. Right now, I am a parent itself. I'm a mother. She's not very old. She's just four and a half years. Even through now, when she goes to assessments, I feel it's my assessment. I'm that curious and that anxious. So I'm sure parents out here, you also feel the same, right? So it's equal amount. Just four more years. Uh, I'm sure it's the new beginning. And um, you, this, it's, it's this four years, last leg of your education, or maybe two more years later, whatever few years you have left for your education is very crucial. It will help you in shaping up your future. It's the most cru crucial years. Believe you me, it's the most crucial years. Okay, so whatever, whatever I would share today is purely basis my experience. A uh, few words about what I would have told to my younger self when I look at you is like try and have some goals in your life, okay? When you don't have any goals for these four years, what you want to do, it won't be any fruitful. Please place, place yourselves in a short-term goal, long-term goal where you want to be. Okay, that aim, focus helps you to be in focus every time. Stay focused. All right. Second thing, learning. Learning, as uh, Dean sir said, it's not about only classroom learning. Okay, it's about your learning in the college, about from your surroundings, your self-learning. Learning is not about only your courses. It's about as a holistic. Okay, and learning doesn't stop. Okay, you might feel it, okay, maybe four more years, two more years after that learning would stop. I would not have to sit for exams. I would not have to attend the classes. It's not like that. Trust me, every day is a new day and we have to constantly keep ourselves unlearning, relearning stuff because the day is evolving. The world is changing. We need to keep up the pace, the faster pace of the environment. If you don't learn and upskill yourself, then you will be obsolete in a few years' time. Right? My third message would be, be your personal brand. As Nike editors can not only be brand, as Stanley is a brand, you yourself individually is a brand. As Bibashi and Lashya said, right, that why they are their brand themselves, right? They're here, only two, two of them have been picked. Why? Because they carry their brand. Don't be shy away. In one of the colleges I was in last week, uh, they were asking, ma'am, is it okay to share things? Is it okay to be proud of our own achievements? Is it okay to share our achievements? I said, why not? If you don't share your achievements, who will share your, achieve other, your achievements? Will somebody else talk about you? No. 
you your yourself has to share about yourself it's like selling yourself in this competitive world you need to sell yourself you need to know about your strengths areas of improvement or what you need to work on okay my fourth message would be have a balanced life identify your big rocks what are your big rocks your health your studies your relationship with friends family and teachers right now at this point of time you everything should prioritize within these three aspects maybe okay fourth don't take life too seriously don't take life too seriously i know students who come across like you know if there's a low grade in one of the exams they will sit and cry over there why i'm getting lower grades than him or her why i failed this in this exam it's okay you tried your best but yes give your best don't lose any opportunity once you give your best some things are not in our control i'll give you an example um of my own life uh, one of my uh, brother's friend uh i like this example because it still gives me motivation okay uh, he failed in one of the classes in btech um or in his uh, graduation uh, while he was in delhi uh, he cried few days and then maybe what kick he did he got i don't know uh, he started excelling so good in his life and the, his biggest achievement is that uh he became the president of students union in oxford university yes that's how we all fall we all have failures but it's not that to cry and take life seriously that serious it's not that not seriously but don't take you have your plan a b c in 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 a uh, form right so that you know what to do if plan plan a is not working you can go to plan b myself is an example i wanted to be a medical student i have always been a very good student across my school days i did not crack medical by two marks i know i was sad i accepted that i could not get it i did not fit the set for the second time i instead took mba as my plan b and i'm here today so i'm glad i don't have any regrets but i'm glad with that uh, now as i said these are the four messages or five messages that i want to share um again i'm saying that don't be afraid of failures take it as a like stepping stone right and here as bibushi and sorry bibashi right sorry and lashya shared that uh do you see the confidence and involvement of her in the four years when she came in she was very scared uh full of fears right that she did not know java she did not know c languages but you see the support system both lashya and bivash has talked about you have a big support system the faculty members here so yes you are in the right place shape up for your career and all the best for your future okay with that i take sign off today and hand it over to the next agenda all the best all the best all the best and believe in yourself believe in yourself it's only you who know yourself but nobody else okay if you know that you can do it everybody can do it thank you so much and wish you a bright future here in stanley and ahead thank you thank you madam for share your sharing your experience and the enlightening talk now may i request our honorable secretary and correspondent shri k krishna rao garu to present a memento to the chief guest thank you sir now i request dr satya prasad lanka the principal of the college to give a brief report of her college over to you sir
chief guest of today's function, Bharadwaj Madam, a friend of ours and a consistent recruiter over the past three years, so DBS Bank. So we wanted to see the people who are consistently recruiting for us as well as how our students who are recruited are developing. Last year, we wanted to see both of you are on the same stage. Thank you, Madam, for being here with us. And uh, the head of our family, academic family, the Kuruvurudhulu uh, type of example, uh, Dr. Vinay Babugar, who has been guiding us and a source of our uh, inspiration and uh, direction. The management, the, the warmest management and the most giving management I have ever seen in my long 32 years of uh, experience. Uh, the visionary type of management led by our Trimurthula, I say, Krishna Rao Garu and uh, Pradeep Redigaru, as well as the ever dynamic and uh, always uh, in inquisitive Rakesh Redigaru. How to do, what to do better type of an attitude. My dear colleagues who are really the um, front end of all the vision which is being put forward and are disposing matters. My colleagues who are achieving constantly their winning and uh, elder daughters Vibhashi and Lasya and younger daughters and brothers and sisters. Over here, the key partners in our journey, talent show, represented by Izaz sir and his team, who is constantly working to see that whatever energy we are creating, from that there is some outcome. The teachers are creating the energy in uh, the form of the students and uh, the trainings are giving the outcomes. The training and placement department is placing them in the right places. A few points I would like to stress on over here in my talk. Stanley is a good place, yes. But what makes Stanley good? First of all, it is the achievements of the students. The 33 university ranks which Stanley has got in its 15 batches of which have passed out from here, okay. 33 university ranks, last year we got 6 ranks, previous year we got 6 and previous year we got 8 ranks like this. The students' achievements and outcomes and the placements for the past 3 years have been 1000 plus offers. Nearly 80-85% students get placed, remaining students go abroad. There are students in Carnegie Mellon doing the most advanced course in the world that is artificial intelligence and robotics. Who is making them happen? The teachers. Who is empowering teachers? The management. We are a team. We are a family. All the dreams and you are joining us as the latest young entrance into this. At this stage of life, normally I see a qualitative change with the parental behavior as well as the student behavior. The students think, I've got some CSC related, okay. Okay, I mean ECE, past three years the highest package in, e in ECE, that is Flipkart, has been going to ECE branch itself, so I'm in a good place, 13.52 lakhs package, consistently ECE students are getting. Right? Electrical students are getting Aditya Birla electrical jobs. So there is a place under the sun for everybody. So Naku watches to the day. I will also get it. Complacency kicks in. For you all. You have come to start, okay, uh, in the 8th standard, okay, uh, what is that uh, advanced? IE inter introduction of JE, okay, course they started evenings one hour, then in 10th standard they told this is life, they gave you a mixer, 
and they started, okay, start grinding. And in intermediate, they gave a grinder only. What to study, when to study, how to study, everything was dictated. What to eat also was dictated. I think the China people, Narana and Chaitanya batch, you will be given one list one month before, do not eat ice cream, do not eat curd. Mixer grinder, you, and now you want to relax, you reached where you want to reach, you reached engineering college. In this college, so many students are getting jobs. I will also get. That is the first students. Parents have got another problem. They have been forcing the child against, uh, they see the child as both uh, an opportunity as well as, you all are the princess, right? So if you are the princess, how can you be, they force you against your will and they suffer. And you are reaching the age where you are crossing from minor to major. So they will no longer interfere with your life. Enough. We have troubled our child enough. Sort of an attitude, kap we will do this. So parents will stop asking that question, what happened in school today? What happened in college today? What was your test result? How is your rank? Which kept you going, that will go away. Two more years, I ask the parents, I request the parents, two more years, please do keep that going. Y'all, please don't think it is interference or reduction of your freedom. It is, now the parents also, I request you to change, change the mode from a questioning mode to an empowering mode. What they achieved? No achieved? For that what you want. In that mode, the parents should change to empowering the children. Because so near, so far, we are, that is the place where we are today. We are so near success, but so far from success. It depends on what we do in the next few years. Nobody has won a marathon by relaxing in the last phase of the marathon. It is in the last phase of the marathon where you should seek out energy which was not there and burn fat now which you conserved to win the race. Ten years of schooling, two years of your intermediate, now you are in the last leg of your marathon. Students, you must not relax now. For that Stanley is doing a lot of things. The faculty of Stanley are incredibly talented. I got 140 and odd faculty, out of which nearly 50 people are doctorates. They are continuously, every year, 26 of them are generated during their work in Stanley. When they are working in Stanley, that means constantly our teachers are upgrading. You are being taught by teachers who are learning new technologies, not, not like me, boom, put up engineering. We have got Jita Jagta teachers. Many of our teachers are industry certified. Mona, where are you? Srilata, Dr. Srilata, IT. Many of our teachers are certified by Wipro, Salesforce, as train the trainers in the latest technologies. They conduct programs for all the students because the industry is not able to train all the teachers, all these students directly and not get good employees, what they have done, they have gone for train the trainers program. <coughs> and we are a big participant through our teachers. Okay. Dr. Radhika, where are you? Radhika is not only train the trainer, she is a big contender for mother of Stanley. So much she worries about the students. Not training. 
through the industry institute interaction cell she has been working very hard in conducting ui path trainings conducting blue prism trainings our trainers are trained and they in turn train the students centers of excellence radhika madam that is have got wonderful each each teacher is trying to is competing to contribute in a unique way for the development of the students and therefore winning the an ecosystem like uh, many times i heard when i was he listening to the speakers you must do you must do sort of nimmele bhay pedutunnaru they are frightening you don't trouble the trouble the trouble will trouble you like of an attitude they were giving that is not stanley stanley is a very lively place where you do what you want but everybody should want something that we insist on we insist on the teachers it's like this you know uh, your parents work very hard to give you a smartphone a smart watch smart laptop and now you have come into a smart college with smart teachers it all depends on you how smart you are just because you got a smartphone with four cameras in the behind does it mean you know to do good photography that you are a smart person having smart gadgets being in the right place is not only the success 5% of the duty is parents 10% is ours your parents give us the raw material they give us the good rice they give us the good vegetables oil all these we create the best recipe for the students whether the students want it in the form of the famous hyderabadi biryani or the latest uh, pizza burger we know all the recipes we will create the recipes and give but if you don't eat everything is a waste all the efforts 85% is your responsibility 5% only is the responsibility of your parents 10% is the contribution from the ecosystem represented by the college unless you consume that you will not reach anywhere every day i see success in this college day for yesterday flipkart before that intel came in, intel ke is come only to stanley in the entire telangana state not even to hyderabad iit only to stanley why quality of our students because our students have gone to us studied ms and then have joined intel and are designers in intel a second ranker from this institution university second ranker they will want to repeat everybody wants to repeat success formula is a waiting for them as uh, our uh, correspondent said catch them yam watch them grow or make them grow that is what is stanley it's a happening place it's not at all a frightening place or yet another grinder poddun le sir meer cheppina podu sir vinay babu garu poddune 5 nunchi 10 gantal varaku ratri me mentors untaru ante bommali na odala nin odala no for every need of yours we are available background lone untam foreground lone undam you are adults we treat you so now no longer as children right we are there to empower you we what we want is everybody should go in some direction not the same direction we don't have a unique definition of success at stanley somebody wants okay i could do that exercise i'll do that later on with you all okay if you are not an engineer what do you want to be architect huh? then why don't you write software for architecture or create iot applications for architecture as electronics engineers right give lighting for uh, smart homes as electrical engineers whatever it is your passion you want to do are you passionate about painting why don't you do digital art or be the next director art director of bahubali 
related to computer engineering, related to engineering. In Bahubali, everybody is there. Computer engineer is there, electrical engineer is there, electronics engineer is there. The sensors and direction of Anushka's steps as she goes for that dheera dheera song. Who determines that? Electronics people. Who controls the straps and the conveyor belt for her? Electrical engineers. Who designs the whole pattern? Computer science engineers. Of movement. Like dance directors, you see in that famous show, some dance show is there. D, yeah? D dance show. In that. Those masters are required. You all are the future dance masters. Through software engineering. Application wise, Alo Sunday. Enough of gathering knowledge. Up to now, your emphasis is science. Understanding what is happening. Now you are into engineering. Making things happen. Doing. That is the emphasis. That is why our deans are designed the curriculum in a way that all other colleges, they have six theory, two labs. We have five theory, three labs. Plus, every year, you do an internship. You get to see what others are doing. Understand and see how they are how your passion and engineering can go together in different industries. Right? So you are going to learn, uh, not extra. Within the curriculum itself, we are trying to give you everything. If you give me your 8 hours, I will give you 24 hours. 4 years, you work. 40 years, you enjoy. Otherwise, 40 years, you work. 4 years, you enjoy. Choice is yours. Young friends, be wise. You have got smart devices, you also be smart. Utilize every little piece of uh, empowerment you get along the way. Don't look at it as trouble. Ishtabhartu chayindi, kashtabhartu chayvakandi. That's what Stanley tries to do. Right? Sadly, my day is very sad, really, I'll tell you, every time I come, I, Saturday there was a good, incredible exhibition of first year students doing projects in workshop, a good demo, and every project was with future technology. Somehow, not something uh, demo piece or nirjiva in the evi chayla, sajiva in the jaysar. IOT applications. First year students, which we say that first year lo yeh talent unda ni yeh utsari, anta utsu. Ani attitude unna all gelustar. You know everything. You have that attitude, you will win. I don't know anything. You have that attitude, you will not win. I have an. I have a challenge. Who is ready to take the challenge? One of you all, please raise your hand. Who wants to take a challenge? I am going to throw at you. One of y'all. I have a challenge. One of y'all raise your hands. Yakara? Please stand up. Please come here. First come, first serve. First, first two raised will win. Two, two together. Two, only one. You young lady first. You will get an opportunity later. Okay, please come here. This is a challenge. So I might ask you a question from mathematics, calculus, differentiation, maybe English, maybe physics. Are you ready? Yes, I will try. You will have only two seconds to give an answer. Two seconds. The moment I ask you a question, two seconds you must answer. Within that. Okay. Right? Okay, I will try. Are you sure? Yes. The question can come from anywhere. It might be operating systems, systems programming, IoT. The question can be from anywhere. I said a challenge. 
you came for a challenge. Okay. Let's try. What's your name? Habiba Khatun. You be here. That was the question. What was the question? What's my name? <laughs> See, all of you all know the answer to this question. When the question you know, you know the answer. But when you don't know the question, you feel you don't know the answer. When you know so many answers, you know so much of maths, you know so much of physics, you know someone, did you take the opportunity which came your way? She took her opportunity, she won. If you don't win the race, run the race, how will you win? <laughs> what knowledge you have, respect yourself first for the knowledge you have. She respected and she won. She gave herself the chance to win. World always is creating opportunities. There are so many problems in the world to be solved. The questions are there. You select the questions and answer them and win. Right? A young girl, uh, she took up a challenge. Chandrayaan, I asked to draw that slingshot orbits. Graphically, make it happen. Over there. She draws, hey, please be here. Please be here. You like being here, right? Now? Yes, sir. Now you like being here? Yes. So be here for some more time. That's the first reason. First reason she won was she took the opportunity. She believed in herself. The second reason she won was okay, I put immense pressure on her. Question maybe from here, maybe from there, maybe from an unknown area. And you learn that all that I told, operating system, etc., you already know. We are only giving new words for that. And we will tell you. Okay? In a structured way, we will tell you. Over there. Intrinsically, you know completely what you are going to study because you have understood. Understanding part is over. Intermediate, up to intermediate. Now it is application part. Application cannot be without understanding. She trusted herself that she knows so many answers, maybe one of the question, uh, question will be related to one of the answers. That's the second reason she won. The third reason, as I told you, she ran the race. Basically. She did not wait to be invited. What is this? You put your hand up. Show your hunger. Why are you waiting? Your mother cooks so much. Why don't you go to the kitchen and serve what you want? Instead of waiting for your mother. Why are you, why are you not eating? The smell is very nice. Mother will come and put. Get out of that attitude. Start serving yourself. Nobody serves you. She understood that. One, one more round of applause for her, this young lady. All the best. God bless you. Stanley does this. We interact with lots of industries, find out what they want. We conduct specialized trainings over here for them. A common training. We have identified seven crucial areas which all engineers must know. Irrespective of whether they are ECE, Triple E, CSC, AML, whatever. We have identified seven areas, and in that seven areas, we have partnered with uh, Izaz Talent Show to give you all training in the labs, doing it, not listening to it. On a global platform, Hacker Rank and Lead Code. If you do in global platform, for if you get 1400 score on that global platform, you will be getting better opportunities, better packages. If you go beyond that, Google will call you for interview. The call, you are not limited by the college you study in, you, you are not limited by the state you study in. You have a global opportunity. 
Many students have benefited from this opportunity, what we have found, and that's the opportunity we have given you. And our teachers are bold to take okay, the challenge and learn about this HackerRank platform, etc., and teach the students. It's like that uh, movie, Leader Law, Manchi, PM Outa, CM Outa, Nak Dammundi, Mikunda. Manchi College Outa, Nak Dammundi, Manchi Vidyar Outa, Nak Dammunda. This is the question of the day. Don't think I am frightening or anything. Many students have done it before you. You have seen two examples today, right? They have aimed at the best and have reached the best. IIT, you all, all started your journey in 8th standard, 9th standard with IIT. IIT, Olympiad, whatever, somewhere. Now it is missing from your resume. Here at Stanley, you will get it back. Into your resume, you'll get via, as uh, our dean sir mentioned earlier, through spoken tutorials you can get, you can get through NPTEL, you can get through MOOCs courses, which you'll do in your minor degree. Your resume can be the world-class resume. Who makes it happen? We provide the environment, your parents provide the resource, you make the resume Jita Jagta. For that, we are there with you. As Madam said, meet Enkalo, sign you only. You are not alone in this journey. Do not, first attitude you must get rid of is I will do and show. Do and show is you are fighting the battle alone. Because of that, you will fail. Many students. But when you take our strength and make it your strength, you will win. Behind you, there is an army working for your future. Your department, your college, your management, your trainers, your curriculum. empower design 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 each teacher will give you one bead, whether it is a jade or a ruby or a gem or a diamond. Each one. Uh, what arrangement you do to make it a necklace? Let it be your own design. But take the gem, it might be useful to you. Every subject is there because there is a need for that. This is more important, that is less important, is not there. What is the gap? The skill you want, employable skills, that is there in the form of minor degrees. In third year, okay, second year ending, from your fourth semester onwards, you are allowed to join a minor engineering to increase your employability skills. You are a computer science engineer, you want specialized training in data science. Yes, it's possible. You are an electrical engineer who wants computers Background, because everything is related to computer, whether you are working as an electrical engineer, computer science is required. If you are working as, or uh, you want high packages, etc., where the engine of growth is happening, computer science, you want a fair chance at that. Then a minor degree. Interdisciplinary, for example, how is uh, Chandrayaan, Chandrayaan has got a fair share of computer engineering, of uh, civil engineering, of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, electronics, everything. So at bottom level they are getting engineers, but systems engineer they are not getting. Who gets promoted, he knows only electrical engineering, he cannot appreciate civil engineering. Without civil engineering it is not stable. The craft is not stable. Respect we have to respect other engineerings. How do we respect that? Do minor degrees across. Know the importance of that engineering. This is an opportunity available at Stanley. We have got, you can go to our website, all the details are there. What minor degrees are there. 
first two years of your regular course, get the marks, high level, so that all doors open to you in placements. If you get 60% marks, some doors open. 65%, many doors open. 70 and above, nearly all doors open. Every opportunity is there for you to show your talent. Right? So, first two years, academics, marks. Next, employability. Minor degrees, honors degree, specialization in your engineering. Have a plan. If you need help in direct getting a plan into action, please do. We are there to guide you. That's the role of the mentors. Not, Vachava, uh, here, Ale. No, you are adult. Now I am not going to ask you. You know you are supposed to come. If you did not come, it is your mistake. You are not a child any longer. Right? Such questions, monitoring will not be there. Information will be there. Parents, one month later on, your child, please take from your child an LMS username password, where the course, the timetable, the uh, objectives, their performance, their attendance, everything will be posted in that. Attend the parent-teacher meetings regularly to know about your child. Corrective measures. In the right time, at the right place, we can take them. When it is a small problem, instead of allowing it to mature into a big problem and not be able to solve it. That's why I said two years, still, your role is there, parents, to ensure the success of your child. But how it should be? To find out, come to the college, what is going on? Why, what, what is my ch child doing? What are other children doing? Okay, why? Do not ask your child why you are not doing. Understand, the child is very sensitive about the financial status of the family, is very sensitive about the social status of the family, all these, they will automatically behave to be good daughters. Understand them, give them that barosa, that support to fly. That should be our role from now onwards. This is what we are going. Two days later, Chandrayaan 3 is going to land on the moon. At tomorrow, day after tomorrow at evening 5.47, Chandrayaan is going to land on the moon. Hopefully, touch wood, touch wood, okay over there, that it is successful. It is reaching a destination. Today you are doing a monumentous job of starting a journey. Chandrayaan has a destination. Your destination is unlimited. So what is the energy you need? Moon is not the limit. Mars is not the limit. Those are the opportunities you must prepare for. You have started your Udan today. I will pray with you that God is with you in the entire journey and continuously is blessing you. Thank you very much. All the best. God bless you. Thank you, sir, for the brief report and encouraging the students and persuading them to jump into action. Thank you. May I request Dr. V. Anuradha, Head Department of Humanities and Sciences, to introduce the first year faculty. Thank you, parents and students, for uh, staying with us. We have come to the end of this program. I'm just going to make a few announcements. Uh, because it's important for you to know what's going to be the, the program right from tomorrow. So as I was uh, told, I've come back to introduce the first year faculty. So you know that you are into a particular department, particular branch, CSC, AIDS, AML, whatever it is. But in the first year, 
you will be under the umbrella of humanities and sciences department so all branches irrespective of whatever you take you are going to study some common subjects which are going to be the bridge for you from your intermediate to engineering so they, these are the subjects that you have already done take english take mathematics take physics take chemistry apart from that you do have some more core engineering subjects so let me uh, start introducing let me introduce first myself dr anuradha i am professor of english and i have my other faculty members i request you if you are here please do stand so that our students can see you uh, mrs virgilia richard the faculty who has been here since inception dr v shrilata these are from the department of english ms hina khan ms hari priya mr atul mohan we also have two faculty members who partially come under this department mr amarnath who takes a very important subject as per aact he takes indian constitution and we have mrs deepthi she takes an important subject as per aact that is human values now coming to the mathematics department let me introduce our associate professor dr k lakshmi vasundara she is the head of that head of the subject then dr v maitreyi associate professor dr g srisha associate professor of mathematics dr m vidya bhargavi associate professor of mathematics and ms anusha assistant professor of mathematics next coming to the physics department we have dr g padmashri professor she has been there with us since inception dr radhika she is on leave today she is with some important program and mr j p pramod a very senior most faculty from physics department now in chemistry department we have mrs sharda devi associate professor i think she is on leave today dr g gangadhara associate professor of chemistry dr rajshekar reddy assistant professor of chemistry mrs b shrilata assistant professor of chemistry ms sajida assistant professor of chemistry now apart from these subjects that you are very familiar with since your college school days you also have two subjects called workshop and autocad which are taught by mechanics and civil department dr sarita she is the associate professor of mechanics who will teach you autocad lab dr rajesh mr Ra mr gpv anjaneelu i think sir is not available today mrs e latha devi ms saba fatima so girls apart from these subjects you will also have service subjects from triple e department from csc department it department you have a subject uh, c language programming in c language which is taught for you from different departments csc csc faculty and uh, cme cme faculty so i have some of the faculty members here dr radhika she will uh, teach it depends on whatever section that you go with dr radhika so she was the faculty that sir was talking about the one who gets anxiety super mom of the college because her own daughter is a student here dr anisha mm just that dr anisha dr shrilata from it department so principal sir was even mentioning dr shrilata about her uh, dedicated work for this industry institute interaction 
So, Mrs. Nazira, there are many faculty, but they are all busy with the induction program that you are going to have right from tomorrow. Okay, just a few here. Thank you so much. Now, from our Tripoli department, so Tripoli department is going to take subjects like uh, basics of electrical engineering, fundamentals of uh, electrical engineering, and so on. You have a couple of subjects being taught by Mr. S. Suman, is the additional controller of exams. I think he is busy taking care of the refreshments. Here uh, we have, uh, do we have Mrs. Pallavi? Mrs. Sneha? And a couple of other faculty members, they take the subjects like fundamentals of electrical engineering and basic electrical engineering. You also have a unique subject design thinking that comes as a lab for you. There are a lot more because the time is very short. We are just giving things in brief. In the induction program that's going to start from tomorrow, we are going to tell the students what are the, the syllabus, the schedule and a lot many things. Okay. And uh, let me also introduce a very important person, Mrs. Madhavi, the librarian. So she is the face of knowledge that you are going to see in our library. And we also have Dr. Siri Mehra. We have a doctor totally dedicated to Stanley. She comes uh, every two or three times a week. She is always available. So the students, because you know, you, um, I think all mothers and fathers will immediately connect and tell me that your daughter is very bad at eating and right in the morning she has nausea, she has headache, she has this and that. So we have an immediate doctor to help us. We also have uh, for the discipline to take care of Mrs. Uma, physical director. Right now she is busy with this uh, anti-ragging. Yeah, she is here. So, she is an another very important person who is going to take care of the discipline, right? When you are coming without your ID to college. And I would like to even introduce our supervisor of the college. He is also very busy. And I would like to introduce our administrative officer, Sri Ramesh Garu. He is, he is also one very important person you have to know to talk about your office things. Right. So this is all about uh, the, in the, the introduction of the faculty. We have the induction program. I'll just tell you in a nutshell. Right from tomorrow you have it. It's a two-week program. It's going to be there from 9 to 4.30. So all the students, as I told you in the first and second semester, you are under the umbrella of humanities and sciences. This induction program is designed by AACTE to get you introduced. It's like a gap that we are going to try to fill with, with things like uh, d talks by the people and uh, talks by people from health and uh, health, uh, health care about uh, nutrition and dietics. And also you will have talk about the famous psychologists, psychiatrists and famous personality development people. And also to tune your mind and body, we also have yoga and uh, uh, some self-defense kind of a thing. It's not a training, you are just taught the basics. So this, and also you will have a day trip to some of the industries from morning to evening. So anyways, the program will be told. For one week, you will be under your core department, that is your mother department like CSC under CSC, triple E under CSC. When you arrive morning, tomorrow morning, you will be received by your respective department people. So all the, the care is taken and also the details will be shared. So you are asked to come with your lunch. You are here from 9 and 4.30, whatever uh, the uh, transport facility that you are taking, you will be taking it. And your actual classwork, academic classwork will start from September 4th. I think September 4th is Monday, you have the classwork, so all details will be shared. And uh, we, we are also going to give your college bag, the rules and regulations book, the syllabus book, your lab manuals, your lab record books, all will be given to you when you're coming the, on the day of the start of your academics, that is on September 4th or more or less in the first week. Okay, and uh, principal sir is very much available here towards the end of the program. 
to if, if to, in order to clarify to interact with you if you have any doubts the doubts will be clarified so we have now this anti ragging squad who will walk in i request amarnath or somebody to clear this clear the aisle please because we have this anti clear the aisle make way for that then how will they walk sir maybe there we can ask yeah around that okay little or maybe you can just ask a uh, uh, a uh, two students over here to move yeah you can ask these students to move the one sitting here okay right thank you so much thank you ma'am here is the anti ragging squad to be introduced by the team leaders So I'm very happy to see our sister concern director and the principal here from Methodist College of Engineering and Technology Autonomous, which is here in the very Abbey's campus. Our uh, director, Professor Lakshmi Patrao sir, and our principal, Prabhu Bankop sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for being here. So here's the anti-ragging squad to be introduced by the team leaders Charvi and Mariam under the guidance of our physical director Mrs. Uma Rani. Girls, you can start the drum beat now. Volunteers, you move out. All the volunteers in red, you move out.
Attention everyone. Good afternoon to all my fellow mates present here. This is P. Charvishri from AI and DS. I'd like to administer the anti-ragging oath. Kindly repeat after me. I, I a bona fide student of BE, student of BE at, Stanley College of Engineering, at Stanley College of Engineering and Technology for Women, and technology for women do hereby Solemnly pledge that, solemnly pledge that I, shall indulge I shall not indulge in any ragging activities, in any ragging activities either, directly either directly or indirectly, or indirectly either, on the campus either on the campus or outside thereof. Or outside thereof. I, further I further pledge that I shall treat, I shall treat all, my all my junior students and other students, and other students as equals with mutual, kindness. with mutual kindness. I shall maintain, I shall maintain cordial, atmosphere cordial atmosphere on the campus, on the campus. And, shall follow and shall follow strict discipline. Strict discipline. I, shall I shall report any incident of ragging, any incident of ragging to, the to the concerned authorities as soon as, as, soon as it, comes notice, it comes to my notice. I shall say, I shall say no to ragging. And shall, not be and shall not be a party to ragging, a party to ragging. Either, as a either as a participant or as an abettor. Or as an abettor. I, shall do I shall do all that is possible, that is possible to, make my to make my institution a better place, a better place for, learning, for learning, enlightenment, enlightenment and, enjoyment. and enjoyment. Thank you. Okay, this is uh, this demo is just as a part of AACT because they say that we have to be very clear about anti-ragging. There will not be any ragging. Usually, I always get complaints from the seniors about juniors that juniors are making fun of them. And technically, let me tell you one thing: your seniors cannot rag you because they are also in first year. So this is first time in the history where we have an overlapping. Your seniors are in the first year itself. They will be there for one more year. So we have now a new terminology. We have to say new first years and old first years. Though you will be technically as first and second same. So you just have to, don't have to worry because uh, final years have passed out. On the campus, you don't see anybody. Your third years are busy with their external exams. Of course, you have the, <laughs> you just have the twin sisters as sir says. Okay, Mariam, now, are you ready? You still have stamina to talk? Come. Good afternoon, one and all. Myself, Mariam Fatima, from third year, Tripoli, electrical and electronics engineer. Engineering, sorry. Uh, I just told the future post of mine. <laughs> so, over here, I wanted to just t talk about my college since Overall, you got a view that this college is going to accept you as you are. 
but here one more thing i would like to really talk about is first thing your college life your college is not just about marks placements or something all the gold medals you want to achieve this is a place where you are going to spend your most precious year of your life i could say which is of engineering your graduation i would like to tell that in this college it's very good to take your name and come like i want to be the uh, i want to be the topper of the class or i want to get the highest placement but here you also need to understand when you are entering the gate of college you are coming here with an empty canvas for example while you are painting so i am really interested into painting so i am taking the example of a painting while you are painting the canvas is empty it gets beautiful over time with all the colors you add and in that canvas it's not necessary you have to add only the gold colors only the silver colors it's necessary to have a black in that it's necessary to have a white in that it's necessary to have so many colors in that without without all the colors the painting would look so boring just imagine a painting which is of just one color gold you are achieving everything in your life one at a time like one after the other but your painting is just gold you don't have memories over there you have to fill your canvas canvas with all the colors all the emotions humans can feel most emotions you need to feel everything you need to experience every single thing in your life and that we can assure here in stanley here you are entering this gate with the sense of curiosity nervousness enthusiasm all sorts of emotions but one more thing you have to be careful of is even if you have the complete black canvas while you are entering the college you don't have to worry about it for example i would like to tell a story a story about a girl who was a volleyball player national volleyball player her painting was full with gold color entire gold but in an accident what happened she was traveling in a train and in a robbery accident she was pushed out of the train her both legs were chopped off her 72 trains ran on her in 24 hours what do you think her painting was completely black after that no she was admitted in hospital everyone was wondering what is going to happen a girl with no legs a girl who suffered mice bites for 24 hours lying on a train like on tra track what do you think what the, that girl would have confidence in her everything might have shattered a volleyball player who lost her legs a girl who lost her legs the dot the parents precious daughter who lost her legs the eldest daughter on which the family had hopes lost her legs she did not sit back quietly there she again made her canvas colorful earlier her canvas was only gold what did she do she is named as arunima sinha the person who climbed 24 peaks everest she climbed the everest without legs how was it possible was it possible just by lying there and telling that i want to climb but actually you don't have to consider that also as a weak point plan everything big uh, believe in yourself so much uh, try to achieve everything but be practical try to live in this world when you have a problem don't sit and cry over there try to think in a practical way try to think that how to overcome this problem when that girl was lying in the hospital bed she might not have thought that i would climb the mount everest without my legs or that volleyball player might have never climbed the mount everest she was worldwide famous later her painting her canvas was the most beautiful canvas of the, compared to the people who had legs so so never think that you are not capable of anything you are different every single human being is different every person is different and now i would like to tell you all the opportunities you are going to get here, grab them the only advice i would tell here is never hesitate don't look whether your friend is participating or not or whether she is doing or not here a dancer can be a coder a hacker can be a po can write a poetry an engineer can be an artist there are multi talented girls present over here and we, the uh, the college 
is trying to build more girls like that. You are women. Try to understand your value. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mariam. I request Principal Sir to present a memento to Mariam. Thank you, sir. Now I request our principal, sir, to introduce all the heads of the departments. I have the great uh, pleasure of introducing the authorities at Stanley, who are the first respondents to all of you all. You have an issue, you go to them. The hierarchy of the issue is, you will, each one of you will have a mentor. That mentor, you represent your problem, escalated to class in charge, class in charge to HOD, HOD to I hope that Nobat Nai, right? Over there. So I start alphabetically, no order, no order of preference, alphabetical order. I call the head of the AIDS and CME, Dr. K. Vaidehi, to present herself. Please come forward, madam. Come forward. Dr. YVS Pragati, CSC Department. Then Dr. K. N. Sahu, ECE Department. Kedarnath Sahu. Dr. Nagshekar Reddy of the Electrical Department. Then we have Dr. B. Srinivas of the IT department and AIML. Dr. Y. Padma, who is the head of the MBA department. Dr. A. Kanakadurga, who is the director of academics. In a curriculum, you want any suggestions, she is the person you can go for suggestion or direction. Dr. Ekar Kudurga. Then the two important people in your life, uh, the training and placement officer who is creating the various opportunities after gaining knowledge, Dr. GVS Razu. And then we have another one, uh, Sema Tapakai. Praveen. <coughs> Praveen, are you here? Right. Uh, Praveen and uh, Dr. GVS Razu are creating incredible opportunities for the students. Outcomes, the various drives, they are being arranged by them. Then we have the examination branch, also an important part about the examinations. Uh, Mr. Suman. I am the controller of examinations and then we have Mr. Suman and another one controller of examinations, Mr. Sandeep, looking after the autonomous examination branch of Stanley. So any examination related queries, you can go there. Then we have another one person who looks after higher education, Mr. Ramesh Pati. Okay, Mr. Ramesh Pati who is looking after higher education. Okay. And uh, Na Bahya Pranam, who is, uh, you are seeing me, you are seeing him also, the respected vice principal of this institution, Dr. B. V. Ramanamurthy, who monitors the academics of the college, the coverage, syllabus coverage, and helps the teachers in guiding and balancing the training and the academics such that it is not at loss. Okay, we got different people doing different roles in an effective way. Okay, then uh, you have uh, Dr. Anuradha, V. Anuradha, who is the student support systems and hostel related issues. You can talk, contact Madam for all these various cultural activities. These people look after the curricular and co-curricular activities, the extracurricular activities, 
and uh, the general health and uh, mental health etc of the students is looked after thing children these are the people who are going to give you a lot of freedom with a strict boundary as a women's college it is my duty to maintain a very strict boundary but at the same time have a very lively place to go to these are the people who will be designing the program and implementing it in a manner which is fruitful to you another important person dr shravani who looks after the training all the trainings in the college all the trainings in the college the uh, employable employable skill trainings madam look after so any suggestions any requirements you can always contact madam okay thank you all god bless you thank you all madam thank you sir in a day, just i can't stop talking that's a different to our problem among these people there are people from iits from the best institutes uh university of hyderabad like this diversity is there in all the teachers we are not all from the same well we are from different wells giving you different tastes of water thank you sir now i invite dr v anuradha to for the prize distribution of the college toppers 2022 yeah we are very proud to announce that we have university ranks from the department of triple e and it for this year 2022 i would like to invite akshaya gaud from triple e department who has secured university eighth rank is she here if she is not here i request the department uh, faculty mrs pallavi yeah i request our uh, principal to give away this memento now from it department g hamsika she has secured university second rank g hamsika oh she is here then we have soumya sri she has secured university sixth rank from it department then th this is soumya reddy who has secured eighth rank nidhi deepak she has secured university ninth rank and aishwarya has secured university 10th rank we have the parent here to receive on her behalf now this is this is nidhi's parent yeah then aishwarya with university 10th rank thank you so much now i invite dr g padmashri professor of physics department to propose vote of thanks thank you anusha <coughs> distinguished guests on the dais of the dais and the audience a very good afternoon to one and all i am dr g padmashri professor of uh, physics uh, speaking in front of you it gives me an immense pleasure in proposing this vote of thanks my sincere thanks to our chief guest ms shantanoma benerji for providing uh, for presiding on this function in spite of a busy schedule and for gracing this occasion thank you ma'am my special thanks to our correspondent sri k krishna rao garu management member sri t rakesh reddy garu and sri r pradeep reddy garu for their support to conduct this program thank you sirs my thanks or in no small measure to our beloved principal dr satya prasad lanka garu our director dean academics professor a vinay babu sir and dr v anuradha ma'am hod hns for motivating us to conduct this program successfully in this lovely stanley complex campus my heartfelt thanks for the teaching and non teaching staff 
AO, AR and their team, supervisor and his team for helping us to do this program. Last but not least, I thank the press to cover this program. I specially mention the hardships by the student volunteers to conduct this program and their cooperation is appreciated from bottom of my heart. Thank you, darlings. I also thank the parents and freshers for attending this program. Now, I thank one and all and continue for the next proceedings. So, we have the national anthem here. So whoever is just moving out, I request everyone to stand in their places. After the national anthem, we have the interaction with the principal sir. So whoever has any doubts, you can just stay back in this very place so you can clarify your doubts. So please uh, stand in your places for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe bharat bhagya vidata Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravid, Utkal, Vanga, Vindhya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Utchal, Jaladhita, Ranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Gahe, Tava, Shubha, Shish, Mange, Gahe, Tava, Jaya, Gadha, Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 